First questions from Rowan Kavner, go ahead. Hey, Corey, just um, really just want to start asking, you know, just how it's felt to, to get back out there again. And I imagine feeling, you know, pretty good for these first couple outings. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's been good to get out there and get everything going. Um, so it's been feeling good. You know, just gotta, gotta keep going. You know, it's early. What was it like to, to get that that save? I know it's been kind of a, a couple of years in the making a little bit, but did it feel like kind of, I know you said it's still early, but some sort of milestone or, or, or stepping stone to, to kind of getting back to where you want to be? It was. Um, you know, I know there's not going to be too many of those in our, uh, um, you know, I guess in my my shoes, but that was a, that was very special uh, for me to have that first one in three years. Um, people I got there, you know, I know, know I can do it. I know I've got the stuff, so it's um, it's good. You know, just every opportunity I get, I'm taking a run with it. Thank you. Next question is from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Hey, Corey, so far it looks like your velocity is more or less back to where it was prior to your Tommy John. How much of that is getting your lower body in position and getting everything synced up like you talked about back in spring training? Oh, I mean, I've got to think it's it's been a huge part of it. Um, that was always the one thing I was inconsistent about, and so now I've been working on a lot of consistency with, um, you know, having Connor and Bardo and Pryor all kind of watching, making sure everything's going all right, and uh, have solid, solid stuff so far with it. Is it more the verbal feedback from the coaches, or do you do a lot of video work just on your own to sync things up to? No, it's just been um, kind of my own homework um, stuff that I've been doing, making sure that um, everything we've talked about together is what I'm applying out there. So um, haven't had too much video work, but you know it's it'll come now. Yeah, I, I noticed also the spin rate on your curveball is actually higher than it's ever been. You're getting really good drop on the pitch. Where do you think that's come from? Nice. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just, uh, you know, some things our, our guys have been telling me, helping me out with. It's just how to hold it. I'm holding it differently now a little bit, um, kind of moved it over. Um, just throwing the crap out of it like I always do. That's it. And, and uh, with respect to the grip, is, is that coming from coaches or, or is that something you picked up from a teammate? That was coming from coaches, yeah. That was uh, something that you know Bardo, Connor actually saw. Uh, wanted to try and change this up a little bit, so uh, I did. And yeah, it's been it's been solid. Really liking how it's uh, how it's turning right now. Well, thank you. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey Corey, how has it been just building your relationships with the catchers and really just kind of working together and learning from each other? Uh, it's been, it's been, you know, pretty solid. Um, I will say I'm not, I'm not too, I guess, too picky really. Cause I mean, I only have two pitches, so it's not really too tough. I've got two locations really. Um, and Will and Barnes both have been like really understanding, like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm just in here to throw both of my pitches as hard as I can. So you know, it's not always going to go where I want it to go, and they're they're ready for anything back there. So, um, solid solid two guys back there. Thank you. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Hey Corey, sort of piggybacking on the uh, question about some of the data. I know the sample sizes are tiny right now, but beyond you know, your first uh, outing there. Are you seeing something in the numbers combined with how you feel that is giving you a confidence uh, at this point in the season uh, that things are on track and back to going back to normal? Yeah, I mean, you just, you know, you, you build off that confidence. And um, with that confidence, it kind of helps you, you know, feel a lot more comfortable when you're out there. You're not going to try and locate pitches. I mean, I've, I'm feeling confident enough to just be able to go out there and throw it. So, um, you know, and that's when I think that's when I'm at my best is when I'm not trying to throw strikes where I'm not trying to aim and uh, 
everything kind of works out. So, you know, we just got to keep building off that. You've been pretty happy with the velo all spring uh, and 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 so far the season. I was. I was happy with the velo. It started uh, building up every outing, um, and that was with. I mean, a lot of work. A lot of work with with our guys. Um, they never stopped. So. Um, it was good, and yeah, I mean, right now uh, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot where I am with my velo. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I just got to keep working with that. Thanks. Got another question from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead, Rowan. Hey, Corey, you mentioned um, Connor and, and I think uh, Bard talking to you about the grip on your curveball. Just considering how important a pitch that is for you, and, and is it – was it hard at all to make a, a change on that? Just knowing how comfortable you probably are with that pitch in general. That was uh, that was one pitch that kind of took me a while to get back um, after Tommy John. So you know, I was open uh, open to any suggestions from them, and yeah, it was uh, <clears throat> it was something that I couldn't really remember, you know, exactly how I threw it and all. So um, I think yeah, Bardo and Connor both did a pretty good job of helping me out with what I need to do. So, um, I mean, it, I can't complain about it all right now. It's been, it's been a very consistent pitch for me, um, so far this season. So, um, yeah, just going to keep it going. Thank you. We have time for one more. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, Corey. Um, Dave said the other day that, you know, if Ken Lee's down, he has a few guys he trusts in safe situations, but you're one of those guys. You mentioned you haven't had a save in three years. What does that do for your confidence that they throw you into those situations so fast and they trust you like that so quickly? Uh, it's, I mean, at the beginning of the season, he's, uh, he knows we've got a lot of guys in that bullpen. I mean, heck, we've got Ken Lee, who's the closer, and then we've had – you know, three or four other guys that have closed plenty of games too. So a um, lot of options in there. So uh, I was very, you know, honored to be able to get that chance. And um, yeah, it, it does. It, it really helps my confidence a lot. Um, anybody, you know, especially for him too, knowing that no matter who he puts out there, they're going to go in and get the job done. So um, I think the bullpen's been looking pretty good. Thanks.